Mental health and affordable housing, two challenges Hiawatha Valley Mental Health Center is looking to tackle with its newest program. KDDC's Ryder Blair joins us live in the studio tonight after speaking with employees pioneering this new program in Winona. Ryder, what is this new development and how will it help those facing mental health challenges? Brock and Caitlin, the Scattered Site Housing Program is the third of three housing assistant programs for Hiawatha Valley Mental Health Center in Winona. Staff for this program tell me they've been working hand in hand with local landlords and tenants since September, assisting those facing the difficulties mental health challenges create for stable housing. The Housing Resource Specialist for Hiawatha Valley Mental Health Center, Adam Mushler, says this program is easing financial housing burdens for tenants struggling with mental health. So we are committed to um, paying market rate for units, and uh, we can do that through um, a Minnesota program called, supportive, or called Housing Support. He mentions local landlords also benefit from this program with offerings of on-time payments and low-risk tenants. A lot of our clients do work at least part-time, but it'd probably be difficult for them to kind of work full-time, maintain their own housing, some of those, those details that become difficult when you're suffering from a disabling condition. HVMHC's Deputy Director Tim Hunter says this program was created after listening to and answering the community's needs. A number of concerned community partners got together. We started talking about some of the, the gaps in need in housing, especially for those that have some pretty significant challenges and, and barriers. Hunter says this program has already placed one client into a unit in October, and the program's goal is to secure five to ten more units in the coming year. We're pretty open to work with landlords on what they would have available and be willing to partner with us on uh, as long as we can kind of meet you know, the, our inspection needs and the, some of those types of things that we have to meet for state requirements. 